guys, how are y'all doing today? I have a new book review for you and that is on the 13th by Georgia Twynham. If you guys don't know, Georgia is a self-published author from the UK and she was really awesome to send me her first book, The 13th, which is part of a six-part series. I was very excited to receive the book and get into it and it was pretty darn crazy, guys. Let's get started with this review. Let's start off with the synopsis of this book. Our main character is Valerie Saunders. Val is about to turn 18 years old. For the past few weeks, she's been experiencing some really odd things including very intense mysterious lucid dreams that she can't really explain so it's the start of summer and Val is about to start her new job at a bookshop the bookshop owner mr. Wallace unexpectedly has to leave pretty much leaving Val on her own to take care of the bookshop easy enough things have been going pretty darn smoothly until she has to close the shop and that's when things start going wrong Val starts to take on this very overwhelming amount of pain and she hopes that with enough rest that she can sleep this pain away. So the next day, Valerie has finally turned 18 and surprise, surprise, Val receives an unexpected gift right on her upper left arm, a self-manifested tattoo. So that's basically where the plot takes off. Val receiving this unwanted tattoo. She doesn't know why she got it. This tattoo seems to be linked to her weird dreams, her unexpected pain. She's starting to develop really awesome magical powers, the ability to transport into very dangerous situations, figuring out what she's meant to do with these powers. When I first read it, I thought it was pretty darn crazy, amazing, right up my alley. So let's talk about the characters next. Our main character, Valerie Saunders, she is so funny and witty and sarcastic. I would also say Val is a bit of a nerd. She is into comic books and superheroes. She obviously knows who Batman is, who really doesn't. She wears graphic tees with Spider-Man, which I loved. Val is pretty much a normal 18-year-old girl. We find out how Val is really close to her friends and family. She's very loyal. She has a really strong connection with her mom and dad, which is really sweet and endearing. But Val is not the perfect character. She has some very human characteristics, some flaws. Val is a bit superficial and you'll find out in what ways. Even though Val is very brave and courageous, she's not always strong. There are times where she is very insecure and vulnerable. I did feel Val was a bit too trustworthy and I thought that was unrealistic on her part. As for the other characters, I thought they were really interesting. I definitely want to know more about the side characters and their connections with each other. Really get to know more of their backstory for sure. So so let's talk about the plot next. Just reading from the synopsis on the back, you can tell you're in for a wild ride and you definitely are. For the beginning of the book, I was having difficulty how easily Val was taking in the situation. I felt on some level that was kind of unrealistic. The connections of the events that were taking place and the people that were involved, everything seemed kind of random and I wanted to connect the dots. About 150 pages in, I really had to stop over analyzing. I really have to read till the end and hope that everything will be explained and yes I was close to the end and it was late and I needed to get some rest but I couldn't stop I had to finish the book it's so action-packed and unexpected the twists and turns and surprises were great and I definitely want to check out where Val goes from there and Wow, <laughs> it was crazy. So let's talk about the writing next. Like I said, the flow could have been paced a bit better for the first book, could have slowed down in the beginning, kind of helped ease the reader into the whole situation and what Val was getting into. I think Val was too accepting and not reluctant enough. I did feel some of the moments and the dialogue was cheesy. Some of it was sweet cheesy and some of it was just kind of cheesy. Not overwhelmingly so, but you could really tell it was. I really enjoyed the humor and the sarcasm and wit. I did feel that the sarcasm in certain parts of the book kind of took away from the intensity and the suspense of the situation. I thought the writing was quite clear and really played like a TV series in my head. I could kind of see this as a TV series. Live action and the special effects would be amazing. So with that being said guys, I'm going to give The 13th by Georgia Twynham a readable rating. It was really touch and go at the beginning of the book. I was kind of unsure and skeptical about the flow, you know, instantaneous connections. Halfway through, I kind of let that go and just really get into what Belle was experiencing. And so everything really did come together at the end. I really enjoyed all of the action sequences. Val, she is a nerdy, kind of normal girl. The bookshop was awesome. Working at a bookstore speaks to my heart. Magical abilities, the ability to teleport through time and space was really cool. 
oh, there are so many great aspects of the book, individual elements that were supremely awesome. I won't give all of it away, but it was really cool. So that's my review, guys. Hope this was helpful. It's a mix of fantasy and sci-fi, so if you like those two elements together. This book had more of a fantasy element, and there was some sci-fi stuff. I think I'll get more sci-fi as the series continue. It was pretty darn crazy, and I can't wait to return Coats, the second book in the series, so... Georgia, thank you so much again for sending me the book, and I can't wait to check out Turncoats next. For those who are wondering where you can get the 13th, you can order it from Amazon. So I'll talk to you guys later, and have a good weekend.